Hi, I'm Naima from Soul Fire Farm, and I'm thrilled that today we'll be cultivating mushrooms. So mushrooms have been around on the planet for at least 400, if not 800 million years. We're talking long before the emergence of plants. And to be clear, mushrooms are not plants. They make up their own kingdom that's actually more similar to the animal kingdom of which we're a part. And mushrooms play an important role in the life cycle. They are doing the work in the cycle of death, decay, and rebirth. They're constantly working to break down organic matter all around us, from dead trees to fallen leaves and decomposing it, transforming it into fodder, fertile soil for new life. And humans have been harvesting and cultivating mushrooms for millennia in cultures all around the world for food and for medicine. They're incredibly beneficial to the health of our physical bodies and also for our emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. Because mushrooms are great bioremediators, because they decompose, they've been used to help clean up oil spills, and because mushrooms are antiviral, antibacterial, they're also used in medicine to fight pandemics and even cancer. So today, we're going to be cultivating shiitake mushrooms. Shiitakes are not only incredibly delicious, but they're also incredibly nutritious. They provide us with protein, fiber, essential amino acids, vitamin B. They're even able to capture vitamin D from the sun and give it back to us in a way our bodies can absorb. There's been studies that show how important shiitake mushrooms are for our heart health, for blood pressure, for diabetes. They help regenerate our cells. They boost our immune systems. They help with the functioning of our brains and give us energy, and they can even help with boosting our mood. So as we get ready to work with the shiitake mushrooms, I just want to say how excited I am for this opportunity to be in partnership with the fungal kingdom. Hi, my name is Leah Penniman, and I'm the farm manager at Soulfire Farm in Grafton, New York. Today we are going to learn how to inoculate shiitake mushroom logs. Here at Soulfire Farm, the harvest of the land is solidarity shared with people living under food apartheid. So the shiitake mushrooms that we grow will be packed up and distributed to the doorsteps of people who need that food in the capital district of New York. So the first thing you need to do to grow your own shiitakes is to cut some hardwood logs from a oak tree, maple tree, or ironwood tree and cut them so that they are between 36 and 40 inches in length and between three and eight inches in diameter, just like the logs that you see here. Um, you wanna get nice, healthy logs that are disease free and stack those logs up and let them sit for about two weeks so that the immune system of the tree can rest. We don't want the immune system of the tree to attack the inoculant from the shiitake mushroom. So after two weeks, you're ready to go. Some of the tools that you'll need on inoculation day include some spawn, either sawdust or plug spawn, which is what the mushrooms will grow from. You will also need some food grade paraffin wax, which you melt to cover up the holes after you're done with them. You need some way to drill the holes. The fastest way is to fit an angle grinder with a specialized bit. Um, and this bit is an inch, makes holes that are an inch deep and about 7 16 in diameter. So that's a fast way to drill the holes. You will need a way to insert the spawn into the holes. And so these are inoculating tools. You need those. And finally, you need something to apply that wax. These are daubers to apply paraffin wax to cover up the spawn. So step by step, on inoculation day, you take your logs and the first thing you wanna do is drill holes into them in a diamond pattern. The holes are six inches apart and the rows of holes are two inches wide. And you do them staggered so they make a nice diamond pattern and you ensure that that inoculant, that spawn, is getting all throughout the entire log. The next step after that is to actually insert the spawn. 
So you take the sawdust spawn, the sawdust has been uh, colonized with shiitake mushroom, and you insert the spawn into each hole using the inoculation tool. With the goal of that sawdust spawn being flush and level uh, with the log itself. From there, you want to seal and cover up the sawdust spawn using some wax. That prevents the sawdust from drying out um, and prevents any other fungus from getting in and taking over the log. What you want to do is melt your wax in a crock pot uh, so that it becomes liquid and you use your daubers to apply the wax right on top of each hole so that it's completely sealed. From there we stack the logs up just like you see here and we're going to make sure that they get at least one inch of water whether that's rain or a hose every single week and slowly the, the shiitake is going to go ahead and fill out that entire log and we'll be able to harvest mushrooms in just about five months. These logs will last uh, for about seven years. They're going to give us a harvest for seven whole years. Um, and we found that to be true. This is our second batch of shiitakes here at Soul Fire Farm. And the first one lasted us from 2013 to 2019. After they start fruiting, instead of having them stacked, clumped so tightly together, you're gonna wanna lean them up spread out so that they're easier to harvest and access. And those are the steps in growing your own shiitake mushroom. We wish you the best on your mushroom growing journey. You got this! <laughs>